Hey guys, so originally I didn't intend on making Final Cut Pro videos on this channel but through the process of learning this software myself as I'm going and now encountering this problem I figured that I'm going to put this video up because there's probably other people out there that are having this same exact problem and I just spent two hours on hold with Apple waiting to get through to somebody and then when I did it was resolved literally in like two minutes so I'm going to put this video up, I'm going to try and cover it as quickly as possible, how I created it, because ultimately it was a user error, and then how it is so easily fixed as well. So let's get into it. What originally caused it was I was getting an error message up in the top right hand corner, and the message was your disk is almost full. And I kept getting that coming up again and again to the point where I just couldn't do anything with the computer anymore. So I went in, clicked on it, clicked on the manage button and then it gave me a whole list of files and the, the biggest file in there was over 100 gig and it was a Final Cut Pro file. So because the computer wouldn't do anything until I deleted that, I just deleted the file and then the computer started working again. I was able to start doing things again with it. But from that point on, I couldn't open any files. I couldn't import them into Final Cut Pro anymore. So every time I was clicking down here on New Project or up here on Import Media or even up here on File and then going File Import, I wasn't able to import the files in anymore and I wasn't getting an error message anywhere. I wasn't getting any kind of indication as to why it wouldn't let me do it anymore. So as I say, I called Apple support. I was on hold for over two hours and then eventually got through to a really helpful guy. And basically what happened is I had deleted this 100 gig file, which I found out was a library file. And what he explained is you're supposed to go in and create a new library folder for every single project. And then when you create this library, obviously all the files from that particular project, that particular video, are going to go into that library. That was the first thing that I didn't know. As I say, I'm new to this software. So what had happened is I had been putting all the files from all the various different videos that I had created all into one library and that library had accumulated up to over a hundred gig and that had literally just filled the computer up to the point where it wouldn't do anything and then when I deleted that library I deleted everything. So what he recommended I do is for every single project go in create the new library and then within the new library put in all the new files and as soon as I did this it instantly fixed the problem so if you've got the message up here in the top right corner and you've deleted a huge great big file because you was having the same problem and now it won't let you import the media all you need to do is to go up and as I just showed you earlier file new library create a new library here and then once you've got your new library, it's going to then allow you to hit this or this and import the media in and it will work exactly the same way it always used to. I know it seems like a very simple fix and for me, as soon as the guy explained it to it, I couldn't believe how simple it was. But I searched YouTube for over two, three hours maybe trying to find the answer to this. And although there's other YouTube videos out there with the same title, they weren't addressing the same problem. And I couldn't find any videos out there addressing this problem. Maybe it's because it's so simple, but I just figured if I'm having this problem, there's other people having this problem. So hopefully this will help you to resolve your problem and you can get back to your video making as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.